And if the president uh, didn't have enough troubles with the Palestinians seeking statehood, try this one. There are new troubles tonight for President Obama's health care law. Senator Lindsey Graham says it's going to bankrupt your state. Senator Lindsey Graham joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. That's a very interesting segment. One thing I'd like to add. The ambassador's right. If they try to make this in run and avoid negotiating with Israel and go to the United Nations to establish statehood, one, who, who's running the state? Is Hamas part of the government? Very, very ill advised. There will be a bipartisan pushback from the Congress. It will be, uh, I think, it will be decisively negatively received in the Congress if they try to do this. And do what? To try to establish state, statehood. Right. Funding will be at stake, a lot will be at stake. All right. Um, Health care. You say that the president could bankrupt the states. Do you have a solution? Yeah, I do. Uh, Medicaid. Medicaid is a program at the federal government level that the states administer with a lot of federal government mandates uh, for, for uh, low income people. Under the Obama health care bill, remember that bill that right. was passed in the middle of the night behind closed doors and they bought 60 votes? That bill? And it expands Medicaid eligibility in my state so that 29% of the people in the state will be on Medicaid. 17 million more people will be added to state Medicaid rolls. It will Nationwide. bankrupt my state. Is that just your state, the 17 million? Or? 17 million for the country, country 485,000. Okay. And here's what my governor said. The Obamacare Medicaid expansion is a disaster for South Carolina's budget. With an opt-out provision, what Senator Brasso and myself have proposed. Okay. Okay, we're going to allow states. You know, did you have a voice in this health care debate. Remember when I was on here with you the night before it was passed? I had saw the bill like a few hours before we were going to vote on it. Remember that? I do remember that. No one's had a say in the country about Obama health care. It's all been done in this building behind closed doors. What Senator Brasso and I have said, give states in Texas, it could cost them $24 billion of new money to match the expansion. A state has to put dollars on the table to get federal government Medicaid dollars. In my state, $1 billion will be uh, required for South Carolina to come up with in the next decade to get federal Medicaid money. 29% so of my wanna, state. So you want to opt, opt out. out? Okay, but here's the problem with you opting out. The whole idea of everybody being in is everybody's contributing to lower the cost of health care. So if you opt out now, I mean, if everybody. Part of a perfect world, do you really want more government involvement when it comes to your doctor patient relationship? I'm just trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand your proposal. I'm trying to understand and, and the these downside. These are good of it. questions. What you need to understand, and these are very good questions. Are we should Medicare and Medicaid, which are hopelessly bankrupt, be expanded? How much should the federal government do when it comes to health care? I, I see. What I don't understand though is that, and we only have 30 seconds left, is that yeah. if if you opt, if your state opts out, and a lot of other states opt out, we'll and then you do another wh bill, whatever, whatever, and you've got these thousands of people who got waivers, I feel like I'm the only one left in the program. You are because <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you, and the whole idea was it, was it was supposed to be inclusive. I mean, it is it is bleeding. Start over it's, and start do it right. Repeal Obama Health Care. Allow states to opt out. Get this debate out of this town, back to the states. I guarantee you half the states would opt out of this expansion within 30 days. And, of course, we still have to hear from the Supreme Court on it as well. Yeah, it's a bad deal for America, bad deal for the states. Senator, nice to see you, sir. Good to see you. And straight ahead, there are...